Yes, like Pastor Brian's wedding, with his wife wearing the wedding gown. That he is the business owner of that wedding gown. Lift your right hand. Say, Holy Spirit, I love you. Say, Holy Spirit, I need you. Say, Holy Spirit, you are my sweetest start. You are my dearest one. Say, Holy Spirit, take over. Take charge. Take all the glory. Say, Holy Spirit, give me understanding and I shall live. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to respond well because I can also close early. If I say that the response is not also good. Today, someone came to my office. Of course, I'm teaching on the rising army. The rising army. Amen. Please be seated. And when the person came to my office, that's Clifford, Coco's brother, who is a soldier now. And he said something that mommy and I were laughing, but at the same time we were moved. He said they slapped him many times. And one of the slaps that broke the camel's back was a slap where they slapped him from behind. Slapping from the front is painful. But the one from behind is a different level or realm altogether. Unaware. They slapped him for those, I mean, I wanted to use English, but for the lack of a better word, they slapped him for intersentiment to catch him. That means, bonus <laughs> moment, And the moment they slapped him, he heard, That is intersentasy. And all of a sudden, his ear was deaf. The boy could not hear again. Blood was coming from his ear the, the following day. The following days, too, blood was coming. The following days, blood was coming. And they took him for medication. And it was okay. He said that when it was a pain, and the, when the blood stopped, still his ear was not hearing. Also with this soldier. His ear was not hearing. He said that and he was wondering. So will I come back home with a deaf ear, one deaf ear? He said, Papi Ben, it was not simple like that. He said, and I went to my room and I remember the prayers you have taught us. He said, I went to cry on God. He said, when he cried on God, he was going about his normal duties some days after. And he was going to put his gun or rifle down. He said, when he ran and put the rifle down, he heard some chi sound. Then the ear opened. He said, he started crying. Thank you, God. Oh, thank you, God. Then I saw that the way we are training Christians as soldiers, we have to up our game. I'll never forget my son spiritual. Pastor Stephen Amo. In those years, when Ike and Oge wanted to learn how to play drum, when they came closer to the drum, spiritual would do this. And if he does it, you watch it. But now he has given them an opportunity to play the instruments. Be seated, praise the Lord. One of them, please be seated, praise the Lord. But if I look at, do you know that, you know Clifford, that he has reduced in weight. They said this is even better. They said when he came fresh, the siblings, the mother, families were all crying. They said, is this our son? He was beyond recognition. I also remember when Ambrose came, nobody knew that is this Ambrose or this is Bruce Am. <laughs> yes. As you are born, sir. When you now even take a person like Saga to the military base, or Solo, a Binka, that means some will not remain. So when we say that we are a rising army, 
it means we must be very strong very disciplined very orderly ready to abide by instructions by rules by commandments by regulations please be seated this morning i said something and i'm going to share with you in 10 minutes then i close the meeting <laughs> all night <laughs> now listen to this i i said something i said that why that spiritual man jacob who, who, who became israel was there in the world in that world god is a god a covenant god of abraham isaac and jacob and that jacob was alive the god of jacob that jacob who had that god was alive and yet when god wanted to show the famine that will happen in some years to come to anybody in the world he didn't show it to jacob but to pharaoh i don't understand why is it that god didn't show it to jacob but show it to pharaoh pharaoh is there look at jacob jacob had 12 children who had married and they were all staying around jacob couldn't even control them but look at the system of egypt and pharaoh very organized <laughs> i want to make a statement Relig religious minds will not understand god would rather choose a competent unbeliever sometimes to hide his agenda than an incompetent believer you know many christians are haphazard they do things anyhow and so they get anyhow testimony a christian is doing a business does not know the products that are there the workers that are there, what they are doing does not know what 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 will be the profit what is the cost price what is the selling price how many products have they bought how many products will remain do you think that if god wants to sustain the whole world he will go to a haphazard system no he will go to an organized system the reason why many christians are not doing well and it's like god is not bringing them things that will shake the world you see and people they pray why is that this unbeliever is the ceo this unbeliever has money because that unbeliever you are praying against who is the ceo because of him many christians are eating he pays many christians at the end of the month and you are praying and god will remove him he won't go because he's organized he's competent he's up to the task the only time God removed the Israelites of Egypt was when they began to multiply. That was when God saw it was time to get out. Until you build capacity, Egypt will still host you. An army. An army is rising. But that army must build capacity. Listen, in your line of work, if you want to be someone who's a cutting edge believer in any line of work build capacity when we are looking for the best there in that field the creme de la creme you must be the name that is mentioned you must know your job know your job know your craft one day God told me something, that the thing dropped my spirit and I was almost crying. And it confirmed the book I was reading many years ago. The Lord said that this person in this position is not a Christian. But I go and give him some information because of the position he holds. The thing shocked me. 
But it's in the Bible, Caiaphas. The Bible said that Caiaphas said that it is better for one man to die than for the whole nation to perish. But said this he said, he himself did not even know that he was prophesying. But because he was the high priest, God spoke to him at that time. If Christians don't build competence, certain contracts that must come to believers will go to a millionaires. Yet this day you're going to get a lot of big contracts. A rising army. Shataki Falatas. Jitu Faliti Safalatas. I want to say uh, one day today, one of my daughters came to see me. Papa, I want to go. I've done masters here. I want to go and do, I mean, uh, chartered accountancy plus the masters. I said, You can go. One person came to tell me, Papa, I want to do two masters. I said, Even if you want to do four, you can go. CFA. CFA. <laughs> but the first, you have to do the CFA. Pastor Preku, law said, Go ahead. Do law. LP, lawyer pastor please why is that important there are certain things let me put it this way can I, can I put it this way when David was learning the harp who told him to learn it why did he learn it people may have thought he was wasting his time but it came at a point the king needed somebody to play harp. And he was best in his field than everybody who played harp. Best in that field more than everybody who played harp. Everyone sitting here, don't be a student Christian who will fail. Why did you fail? Because I was a Christian. It is an insult to God. Why is it that your design is not nice? Because I was praying. Isn't it the prayer that should even give you ingenuity, skill, alacrity to be able to draw a design that is there and is breathing? Why is it that you couldn't do the surgery? I was tired after an all night. Ah, Dr. Dilly, shouldn't the surgery be more successful because you're a Christian? It should be. There's a, there's a history that even the, the one who did the first surgery learned it from the Bible. When God opened up Adam and closed Adam and Adam was still alive. Were it not for that, the moment you, sl you slit a human being's stomach, won't he die? He will die. But how can you slit it, work and close it, and the person is still alive after getting up? God showed it in Genesis. And then, and the 55 for class. Why were you 56? Because I'm a Christian. Where to teacher? Where to students in Nari asking you to teach at the headmaster? The students are 55 and you are 57. So now, when you've been telling people that they should serve God, they say, My friend, concentrate on your studies. What are you saying? Some people are not real. Who? The Jew, the Christian, some Jew, and the Muslim are born. 
But if you do you say a dream or on a underperform, and yet it should never be like that. Uh, my boss does not like me because my boss is an unbeliever. All of Joseph's bosses were unbelievers. It's not true. My boss does not like me because I'm, Joseph's bosses were only Potiphar was an unbeliever, idol worshiper. Pot, uh, Pharaoh was an idol worshiper. And yet Joseph excelled there. What about Daniel? Even in the prison, Joseph was excelling under his boss, who was an unbeliever. If you make yourself very, very important and you work very hard, you'll be indispensable. Your, the, your bosses will love you. Look at a person like a doctor, come. When we went to 37 military hospital, where he works as a doctor, all the bosses love him. The way he smiles alone, some of you are going to, I mean, do contract, do this, and you're not even smiling. Do you know, go and do research. Do you know they say that over 70% of contracts are awarded because the people smiled? Arising army. Maybe when a worker comes around any project you are doing and the worker is a smiling person, I like the person. No, even me as a rich man, as a wealthy man, as a blessed man, by the grace of God. So, yeah. Yes. We rich men. I, I, I mean, I, wrote, I think that which, which, role, which role is accepting the declaration? All right. We the rich men, we, we like those who smile. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Every job you are doing, learn to be a cutting edged person there. Yes. The more the boss is an unbeliever, the more you must even enjoy favor. That's how Joseph enjoyed it. That's how Daniel enjoyed it. Only you, every time you are binding your boss. Oh, what? We go. Ah, boy. <laughs> You must work in a certain way. Your boss must even think he's underpaying you. Sometimes David can tell me, Papa, I went for 24 hours. Yes. And you see, it doesn't stop him from winning souls. How many souls do you bring to church when you are coming? Sometimes 28 souls. All the way from where? Abukobi. Yet he can do, he can do surgery, can do, do consultation, be in consultation room. Which room are you normally in? Emergency. Emergency. And when it comes, he's able to solve it with style, with machismo, with panache, and with finesse. And the banana, the panana, the license, the <laughs> yes. But the, the bosses love him. They are falling in love with him. A rising army. That rising army God is raising. We, say, we don't want to say that the reason why I didn't do well in exam because I'm a Christian. I was running errands for God. The reason why I'm not doing well as a wife, a husband, because I'm a Christian. No. The reason why it must do well is because you are a Christian. The rising. I mean, God bless you, Mr. The reason why I'm not doing look at China. When she went to that employment where she works, they said she's the best worker there. I love to hear such testimonies. Look at look at Sweetie. Sweetie, you got the best employee. Is it best employee? What, does it, what, what, is, what do they call it? In your team. 
the highest performing score. So we use him Odidiana. The highest performing score. I said about it there. Hallelujah. And no TV shade in Numa. Assume no more. Hallelujah. Sweetie, what did you do? Yemre. You use him. Hallelujah. So as I was saying, we, we must understand that she got the highest performing score. Boss Tracy, Papa, do the dear Vecchio, Tita Bede Meba, and soon Kwana me no no. Hallelujah. Oh, you may be seated. If you are a seamstress, be the best there. You are a tailor, be the best there. You are a secretary, be the best there. You are what again? A teacher, be the best there. You must make sure that you, you, you are the best in your field. <laughs> Baby, sit there, praise the Lord. <laughs> Men tried them and cried them more. When we were in Pembroke College, there was a teacher called Miss Chibot. And when you came as an SS1 student to Pembroke College, all the seniors will tell you that, Who is teaching you elective mass? You say, Miss Chibot, hey, teacher, now born. And they gave a phrase, Miss Chibot, what born? Anka Yawa, Anka Mabin. And one day, can't you remember Misty Boat? Yes, can't remember Mr. Misty Boat. Everybody knew that as for this man. Never. And yet, the man could do the mass pass very well too. Please be sitting in the And one day he was teaching. And whilst he was teaching, one of the students whispered from the back, Misty Boat, what born your one here being? And he had, he turned, hey, who is that? For those who are watching, he said, Mr. Boat, you are a dull teacher. Were it not for you, would have been brilliant. He just said, who? Then the whole class was quiet. Whole class, quiet. And I said, uh, because the teacher said that I'm going to blush everybody for four. And you are not my brother from my mother's womb. I'm not come to take cane for you. My mother didn't give birth to a fool. I said, hey, Offer. <laughs> own up. <laughs> As you own up. The guy said, Oh, boys, boys. Hey, yeah, 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 boy, boy, yeah, boy, boy. My boy, boy, my friend. Own up. Then the guy said, Sir, please, it's me. He said, Come here. Slap the boy two times. Papa. He was a sorry, sir. You are going to sit down. The whole day, the boy was quiet. Bad three days, no to me, Casa. Rising army. The rising army. Be the best teacher. Be the best accountant. Be the best architect. It, rep it makes you represent the kingdom well. And God is raising more of such people. So you see that other accountants will come to you. How do you do it? You point them to Jesus. Other teachers will come to you. Other architects will come to you. Other bankers will come to you. Other students, fellow students, say, How do you do it? Many years ago, when I was in college, they used to come to me a lot. How do you serve God well, do this, and still excel? And I'll tell them, Come and let me show you. I'll go and pray with them, teach them the word, then I will learn the book with them. Oh, yes. Please see the Pastor Frank Ozun Safwa told me that. He only got all A's when he came to serve me. Yeah. You see, I pray for people, maybe the results to change. Maybe you had a D, you will change your B. But I don't glorify such testimonies. Other example, they won't learn. Intend, if we tell D, because I said intend. Oh, I had the, even Pastor Michael, I prayed for him, it happened to him. They, they, they give him either a D or so. 
Was it, what, what was it? I, I've forgotten. They were collating scores, and you needed a little to hit the, the point you wanted. And they had brought the provisional already, and they couldn't do anything. They wouldn't do anything about it. And I prayed for him, but so, and it shifted. I don't glorify such testimonies. As a boy, was the only son. The obet not in a wow, yours, Papa. Mumpi and Adi Nimpejo. Was it blessed rise? A rise in me. She. <laughs> Even my daughter Amanda, when her results came, Amanda in the UK, she had second class lower when her results came. And she came to me crying. Say, Papa, I have second class lower. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not that kind of student. And I said, Are you sure? She said, Yes. Papa, you know me. I'm a very, very brilliant student. She was my music direct, directress here at the when we were down there. And she was in the business school. And I prayed for her. And I said, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, give her a favor. So because of that, the graduation class, she didn't go. Because lower part, the only uncle came to the inside. So she didn't go. Oh, uncle. <laughs> so when A had passed on it, she decided that she would now go to where we take the certificates and take her certificate. And when she when they asked her, what did you get? She said second class lower. They started searching the lower. They said, 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 said. they couldn't find it. Then they searched again. Then they said, let, let us search the upper. Her certificate was upper. <laughs> but we don't glorify that because some Christians, when they hear that, almost make a Now Papa change, you know. Don't do that. As I, we don't say don't do that. No, don't do that. Tell someone, don't do that. <laughs> Be, this year, decide, as you are going to start new businesses, I've told you that, go through, study about it. Go through, have counselors around. Why someone is counseling concept? He's saying, not that he doesn't like you. He's telling you, he will punch holes. Then he will say that this, he will punch holes. Don't be angry. Listen, listen to what the person is saying. Twenty twenty four, the rising army God is raising, very anointed, love God, but they are best in their fields as well. Best in their fields. Listen, in the Bible, having to see that God will be such and such, and will go to Cyrus, an unbelieving king, and will call him my anointed, because their, their systems are working. That's why Joshua said the worldly people in their world, in their generation, they are wiser than the children of light. You think that streetwise, you think that, oh, the anointed, anointed. God called Cyrus his anointed. And yes, Cyrus was an unbelieving king. Why no anointing? And so, an unbeliever. How can somebody who's an unbeliever, God himself is talking, he said, Cyrus, my anointed. <laughs> eh? These people have built. Excellence. These people have built mastery. Look at it. That said the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus. And yet the guy was an unbeliever. And then God said, You are my anointed boy. You are my anointed. Hmm. There was a guy who was building the, the Tower of Babel. The guy was a black man. Nimrod. The Tower of Babel, the one leading them was a black guy. Was a colored guy. Nimrod. And the Bible said that he was a mighty hunter. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. That word mighty hunter before the Lord, it was wrongly put. The real word is mighty hunter against the Lord. The guy was a mighty hunter. Those days, giants began to rise. And animals and other things began to kill people and all. The only one who was able to stand against the wild animals was Nimrod. And he became so fearsome that everybody knew that the guy was indispensable. And the guy even thought that one day 
he can take a bow and an arrow and will strike it into heaven will just throw it shoot it into heaven and the, the arrow will come back with blood on it that means he has killed an angel and the arrow will come that's what Nimrod taught the guy trusted his prowess he gathered guys they are going to build a tower up to heaven it was a mighty attack against the Lord and yet he was able to amass people the whole world were following that one guy why because he was good at what he did you want, you want the people in your field to follow you be good at what you do as a Christian be good at what you do a rising army students be the best in that field and why is it that all the instrumentalists the worldly people are better than church people they have mastered their craft they rehearse they are not like church people who play bds bobidi they've mastered the, go and get an unbeliever keyboardist an unbeliever drummer an unbeliever what do we call it bass guitarist and yet all of them started in churches That's why I tell our instrumentalists, rehearsal. I know I said the years ago, but you feel like you are not playing anything. Nothing. Mistakes song. How can you play one song and you do four mistakes? You are not a well rehearsed person. Instrumentalist Montanas, yeah. in church don't be a singer who will stand there as of this one our choristers by the grace of god they are building their voices a lot don't be a chorister who says that it's not about the voice it's about the anointing brah sister voice in the anointing they come boom yeah be the best in your field be the best there now, you see the key is always learning always learning if you stop learning you start dying always learning the horizon army always learning always learning we see we have i have people in different fields and always i see them learning they are always learning what is the next that has come mommy's sister is an architect in america and she will always tell you the new thing that is coming yes always learning when they were drawing the KJTR project in Kumasi, 40 architects sat down to draw. Her own was taken. Yes. And yet she, she doesn't depend on, she depend, depend on that. She's always learning. One guy was drawing a, a, a construction building for mommy's uncle. Who oh, we building, no? house I will see with your better now. The bedroom, pillars bare phone, the see bedroom. I'm saying him for no befa. Don't be pillar too. And this is everybody a pillar too. Hey. How can inside the bedroom where the space must be, pillars are there? The toilet to two pillars. I don't know if you have to do it. I don't know if you say that you hold it when there's constipation. I was talking with Nanakwesi about certain things. I saw that he knows his job. Such a person, if he keeps learning and he keeps learning, he'll become one of the best architects in this generation. Receive it now. God bless you, Mr. Prince Lord. When he left, I told Mommy, he knows the job. And I intentionally gave him, I said, This particular work I've given you, I've given you one day. Look 
has to pay when he was singing you see that he, he, he has mastered even even do you know even music stagecraft especially his type of music stagecraft is very important do you come let's so pay for heaven let's do that's what you did i don't know <laughs> all of this part of stagecraft boss one from him not reflecting what i call the body God bless. Yes, every, the dress up, everything shows that it, it, this is my kind of music. What is? Super. Super, you may be still in front of the Lord. But the song is nice. No more jay bear. No more jay bear. No more jay bear. I told my lady pastor that I'm not going to this year. Amen. Even in relationship, you must have relationship with style. Many Christians don't know how to do relationship. Oh, you can you may be seated because one of my daughters came to me that a pastor had proposed to her. Not a pastor in this church, but my daughter is in this church, and that pastor told my daughter that she should come home. And my daughter said that we have just started, so let's not do home, 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 home. Let's home. <laughs> can we meet at the mall? We will not buy anything, but we will talk and know ourselves better. Said till that time the pastor has not called again. Funding. Why? Because you see, the pastor thought that by the time it is small, maybe you are going to you want me to go and spend money, maybe something like that. But if you know what's up, you know that we don't go to mall to spend money only. We can sit down. It's an open public place where we can talk and discuss life. Many Christians don't know what's up. But after my son, Pastor Michael, Kai, she knows what's up. You see, you must know what's up. Yeah. You should be able to, to go to the mall with your hand in your pocket and you are viewing things. Some people don't even know how to view things at the mall. As a Christian, you go view. It's not my fault to buy. Me, I go, I go to places and I'm not going to buy and I'm very confident. I'm good, they, they, have, they have not been taught that. They say, yeah, they, they are free. You come on to be a shop attendant to me. Now, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be Me, I'm going to be there. And I mean, to me, shall dear, only to your you said, Bruni, oh, window shopping. That means that we will remove several windows, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you go and you are just watching the items. You are watching the items. One day, mommy and I entered a particular place watching the items, and we said, How much is this suit? And that is about nine years ago. Nine years ago, they said, thousand five. But as I mean, you were at at all, so well, okay. <laughs> Sometimes say, no matter what, say I'm bold. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. What about this? Is it 2004? I said, <coughs> and I do with this shed in your muscle. I said, okay. Attend and nature was for me, young queen, free and good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now it's not like now it's today we can buy as many as we want. Amen and amen. Hmm. When you enter any place that they are mentioned amounts, be, be bold. Pint no. 
Be bold. Remember, prize into two in here. One day I went to a place with Nanajwa and the kids. And when we went, they, there were items there. And I said, oh, let's choose this. Let's choose this. Nanajwa said, Papa, but you're not boarding. So that giant some phone I can name you. Kofi, Kofi. You may be sitting there, Lord. But not kidding me ever. But James, who are you? Yes. You must learn to be bold. When you see an army is rising, I'm talking about a rising army. These practical things, if you don't teach them, the army cannot rise. But you raise people who are intimidated fellows. You should be able to go to the mall, enter what air condition shop standing is and you ask for the price of air condition and when you cannot not even buy you say i'll come back soon yes <laughs> yes <laughs> ah one day mommy and i went to a place they were mentioning some but i remember we went to a, a place where they sell so first about five years ago five years ago and i saw the sofas packed nicely in a glass in a place i forgot whether it is spring test road or anywhere it was like an indian shop very nice sofas and i parked the car and mommy and i entered when we entered we saw a three in one sofa one and i said how much they said fifty thousand <laughs> then I asked the Indian why then he said that you can use it forever never very very slowly to them say hey you may change you change your name or whatever you have been at the BI forever and never ask them And they were only two. They told the guy or the lady, he said that we are three. But only two of us have come. We are going to call the third person. They didn't come again. <laughs> Anami is rising. Look at my daughter, Mama Africa. She is very good at her work. When she's even stopping, they don't want her to stop as a nurse. Yes. At first, you were a midwife. And now you've gone to an anesthetics. Yes. Oh, whoa, Pania. If Charles can't want it, it's not the one you can throw. Isn't it true? Yes. Oh, in fact, the, 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 you see, we have gotten to a level where Christians must be at the helm of affairs. 
And today the Lord wants me to tell all of us here that we shouldn't fail because you are Christians. Because our generation is like that. Why didn't you excel in your exam? Because I was maybe the prayer secretary of this denomination. Why are you not doing well maybe as a this or that? Oh, it's because I'm a deacon at church. And yet that should be the reason why you should have really done well. Because all the inventions that we are celebrating now, I said they were brought about by Christians who were deacons, who were sanctuary keepers, who were elders, who were Sunday school in the church. What stops us? There's nothing that stops us from becoming cutting edge people in our fields of work. And that's what the Lord is ministering to me now. The rising army. So have you seen that today? I've not even gone to the spiritual tangent at all. Because if we don't teach these things, many Christians will only go to the prayer dimension. And you see, as I talk about prayer, by the grace of God, I pray more. So I'm not undermining prayer. Even when I bring you here and I say, let's pray. No hour. We will not say we are praying for five hours. No. Let's just pray without knowing the time will close. You know, you will get tired and I will still be praying. Or you run away. When I say we are praying, all of us are praying for, let's say, 24 hours. Let's pray. So I'm walking and praying. I'm walking and praying. I'm sitting and praying. I get up and pray. I'm moving and down. So I'm not tired. I'm just moving and going and coming. Can we like, what, what the bear for? What does the bear for? Huh? What does the saying? Bear saying? Bear for. And so here, bear for. No, I'm not. I'm telling you. Look at Pastor James. He has bought suit. Then he will buy brown dress for Lady Pastor Beru. Oh, my country. We are not saying Lady LP Mina or my unity. Masaniana. The bony dean was serious. I was not Papa Boom in the archer. Amen. Please be seated. Money effect. Amen and amen. amen. Be the best at what you are. Many years ago, you see, there are teachers. When they teach, you say, Kai, this one is a teacher with a difference. We have one teacher in our school. When you go to the class, she, she, the way she teaches the children, teaches the children, teaches the children. So I told mommy, she wanted to go and further her education. And she wanted, I told her that, combine the two. She said, yes, yes, sir. And it was later that she also said she also studied as a midwife before the education thing. So she the discipline that she had. Midwife, do they train them in a certain way to be very disciplined or what? I don't know because this one was very disciplined and is very disciplined. And I encounter by the nature of the job, you'll be disciplined yourself. Even you, you are very, very disciplined. Maybe it's the nature of the job. I hope soon too is a midwife. <laughs> He's very disciplined. <laughs> yes. Yes. Saki like that. He's very disciplined with giving out fresh fire. Uh, sending it. He's a mid husband. <laughs> you see the uh, A rising army. Listen, everyone here as a welder, do well. A new human about Komo had a welders. As a welder, do well. Pastor James went to bring a welder here about a, about a month ago. The welder came to survey the work, he did everything. Say, said tomorrow, come up till now. He has not heard from me. If you're an accountant, be the best there. One welder that I mean, some months ago came, gave, he gave him money to do something. He spent the money and never came again. Mommy and I saw him and was singing in a church. She had no mean to me, my daughter. Whoa. Come 
Can't you see that all the footballers in Ghana are Muslims? Where are the Christians? It gives you funny mobo. What's up, Fuate? Where is he? First of all, I saw him somewhere. What's up, Fuate? I think our captain was sprinkling something on the field and they captured the video. Baby, see there. Yeah, I learned Thompson is a very good footballer too. Like Pastor Denke, like that. Very, very good footballer. And Pastor James, you two are a very good footballer. Even me, I'm, I'm a very, I mean, I'm a very, very good footballer. Papi, papi, papi. When I put number nine here and I'm standing on the park, the skills that I would do with my legs. Stop. Yes. Very important goals. Joe, almost all what I say. Hallelujah. Let me sit in prayer. <laughs> Let me sit here, guys. My song, goalkeeper. <laughs> no, look at Ghana. Look at Ghana. The ball is already going to goal kick. Then you force a new son to pick it to corner. Then they use the corner to score. <laughs> Then where is the where are Christian footballers who are standing out? Mr. Can't you do it? Mr. Can't like that. He can swim very, very well. Olympic swimmer. Can swim for Ghana. God bless you, Mr. President. <laughs> I pray that they will come where they will say Dr. Dele is the best doctor in, in Ghana. Where is Dr. OVV? Where is Dr. OVV? Dr. OVV? Dr. OVV? Dr. OVV? That Dr. V, she's feeding a uh, Stephen outside. Is the best doctor. Where they say that when it comes to dentistry, Dr. Fua is the best dentist in the world. Yes. She, he, she even came, I mean, in the newspaper. And she was breaking somebody's teeth. He is saying. Yes. But her name will go. Like, this is the best dentist. If you're looking for the best dentist. If you're looking for the best printer. It's Marge's home. Yeah. Coat of arms. Yeah. Want to look for one of the best accountants? It's Langabel. Yeah. Didn't you say the accountant in the business school? Yes. That is the, the best accountant. They're looking for the best architect is Nanakwesi. Foster, God bless you for reminding me about Nanakwesi. Nanakwesi say, 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 Yes. <laughs> God bless you, if she's in the Best what? Boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Where's that baby? The light was, I can't see those of you from second row. I cannot see anybody. Okay, okay, okay. good. Where's your boyfriend? <laughs> oh, Jem Chapo. Today, Mommy and I were laughing when we saw that Blantyre has worn his yellow barrel and had held Ojo and Ogwen. Both of them were wearing yellow, yellow, and the boys were saying, Save the date. <laughs> the best midwife. The best nurse, that grace. They will say that grace is the best nurse. Have they posted posted you yet? Yes. In the, 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 the nurse, they must say that the nurse is you. Nurse. Most nurses don't treat people well. Except the nurses in this church. Oh, can you give a shout out to the nurses in this church? 
Yeah. Amen and amen. Like cocoa is very good. I mean, Grace will be very good when she's posted. And also, even, I mean, Mrs. Yankee has been telling me that people even say that she's the one that they want. Even the doctors will say that we want her to come and do them. Hallelujah. <laughs> Where did you study? Is it midwife, mid this? General nurse. Yes. Grace will take care of patients and the patients will be in paradise. My mother will say, I'm going to meet you. I'm going to cancer. And your friend and cancer. I'm telling you. Grace, you may be seated. Yes. That the best banker is Pastor Foster. Best banker, Pastor Felix. Best banker, who again? Pa Pastor Brian. Best banker, who again? Who? Yes, was, yes. Was... Tanifor Mum and Co. And Winnie. Hey, where's Winnie? Oh, Winnie, it's, it's like it's a long time since I saw you. Best banker, Winnie. Yes, where's Dora? To the door, I was dancing, but no fun on the door, Williams, and I was the door. To boo. Saki, a mean if you did do it, which I said, dear, said, dear, son of Dora, I said, say, Dora. And we are more money in grand, I said. But then, one, no. Dora, to us, our crown, very joyful child. Amen. Where's SK? Congratulations. This is the present Lord. A rising army. A rising army. As I've taught this, tomorrow go to work with another mindset. Go to the classroom, the lecture with another mindset. I'm coming to be the best year. Oh, I thought I was pretty. Am I? I'm coming to be the best year. The name of the Lord Jesus. A rising army. From this AGM. Move to whatever you are doing with a different mindset. I am coming to be the best year. I've not even scratched the surface of the message, but this is what the Lord wanted us to hear. Can we stand with a shout of praise? I, I thought I thought that we are, we are raising an army, but looks like we are raising civilians. How to bring the guy who slapped Clifford? Oh, pastors, lady pastors, missionaries, elders, dickies. Oh, glory. Please lift up your two hands. And let's thank the Lord. Let's give God the praise and the glory. Ah, shut up. You are all that I live for. Can do nothing without you. Hold my hand, Lord. I can't get lost. I'm with you. You lead me upwards. I can never go downwards. Why? Cause you are my God, my Lord. My Lord, my love. Cause you are my God. a shout of praise my lord and i love you lord you are my love so i worship you god i worship you god you are my lord i love you i love you 
to the Lord, sing, so I worship God, so I worship God, na, 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 na. sing, I love you, I love you, I love you, can we take it higher, lift your voice, sing, oh, I worship you, sing, I love you. Lift your voice. You are mine. Oh, let's celebrate him. Oh, let's celebrate him. Pastor Brian. 
Lord said that the next three months of your life will determine the number of souls you win this year. The next three months of your life. The next three months. You know, when, when the, the prophetic comes, it's your moment. Because I see a lot of people follow you to church. Your church can be easily overflowing. Lord said, I don't think that it will take time. Don't think. But Lord said that you are walking in anointings that have labored before you. Or other men have labored and you have entered into their labors. Don't think it will take time before you do well in ministry and in the branch that God has given you. Don't think it will take time. The Lord will lead you to do things that will let you expand easily in the next three months. It will determine a lot. It will determine a lot. The next three months, God will open you up to instruction and direction. You will know what to do. Say the Spirit of the Lord. For I have souls for you. The Lord said he has souls for him. And the Lord said that they will be very happy to listen to you and to call you their pastor i see a group of happy people who are joyfully and willingly following you to serve god call you that you are their pastor and they are a lot and it's happening this season it's happening this season it's happening this season It's happening this season. It is happening this season. I saw 100 people come to church by you, June, by June. Spiritual come. You were bringing 100 people. I'm not a brand new. It's not that the old and the new. June, they were following you coming in a hundred people you are a force in the spirit you are a force in the spirit listen God is raising people for soul winning you know. we are in that atmosphere right now for about the next five to ten minutes we are in that atmosphere Pastor Michael your ministry has changed right now it has changed in a kuski fradistash why, why, how will you will you see it you are coming to church and every service you are coming at least 20 people can follow you and they develop it it's happening to you you are coming and 20 people are following you it can happen per service take it as a personal target it's happening to you you are coming to church rich and people are come and people are following you to the house of God excitedly following you not that it's like they are excitedly you see this prophetic that I'm giving the way people are following is an acaso but it's excitedly you have gone round to work and yet it is excitedly big men will follow you to church influential people will follow you to church what do you mean so pastor first have you seen how your prophecy is coming to pass that bankers will follow to the east legon church you thought it was here east legon church come so from east legon you pass them to this place come and show them here now tell them submit very well to your pastor yes i told you that this new auditorium that God has given you is shifting the kind of people also that will come to the ministry. I, I told you last night. Kakatu Savaladas. Eja Papa Papa Pas. Pastor Phyllis.
top businessmen Amen. will follow you to church and to Christ. You'll be talking and they'll say, we want, to, we want to know your God. They will just love you and they would want to know your God. Amen. They'll say that it looks like you really know because you're going to answer their questions. <laughs> Pastor Preku, I saw you enter the church with Arabs. <laughs> they have worn that body t- t- is it, what do they call it turban yes you are bringing oil money to the house of God <laughs> that's why we call you Mr. Anointing you will be able to convince them to follow me to church you will enjoy it and the, but as you are talking they will say okay You see, AGM is an atmosphere. All of a sudden, the atmosphere has entered that realm where God is putting something on people for easy soul winning. Easy soul winner. Ch- China, come. Lady Pastor Nanadu, have you started Circle Home Cell? Then let it be yet. Lady Pastor China. I saw you taking over the domain area. What for domain? Or you could not know me. What for domain? But you think the people cannot go into your auditorium. Lord is saying that I have made your auditorium too small. As at now, start looking for. A bigger place. A bigger place. As, as soon as we get it, we are moving. You are moving. Yes. Wow. The place is smaller. The Lord said he has made it small. Wow. Guys, your lives are changing. Yeah. And all those who are standing here, all of you, that strong soul winning grace. I don't know if you want it or not but it's coming upon you in the name of jesus many will come to jesus because of you in the name of jesus can i hear two loud amens from you church number two lift your hands and we're going to pray lift your two hands pray please everywhere please from the back everywhere lift your hands and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray I have a life that I live Because of the one Who died for me Winning souls Has consumed me Blaze the gospel yeah, yeah, Like a fire Oh, world Must ye An army is rising An army is rising the whole master. So take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to thee. Winning souls, I blaze the gospel. Hey, Adaba, keep praying. Shut up, Adaba. Of the one who died for me, winning souls, Shada Bahara. I blaze the gospel like a fire. The whole world, yeah, na na na, my Shada na na, save the whole world. Yes, 
God's Spirit, come. The Lord said, I'm reviving your soul winning grace. I saw buses. I saw buses. I saw buses. You were running with passion. It's like your, your legs were like wheels of fire. Wheels of fire. You were running everywhere, overcoming barriers, overcoming all odds. And you were bringing many to the kingdom. And you're not just bringing them, you're raising them. You were bringing and raising them. There has been a restoration of fire. Take Talakatusas. Lift your hands. Go and excel. 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 In the name of Jesus. Go and excel. Amen. Go and excel. Go and excel. Go back rejoicing. It's done. Can we celebrate the King of Kings? What do you do in church? What do you do in church? You are. So you have joined the choir. Which one? Great vessels, voices of glory. Great vessels. Wow. What you do in church will do a lot for you. So as you have started, if you are looking for the most serious member, it must be you. You must get the most serious member award. I'll wait for it. When we get to some part of the year, I will ask that has she gotten the most serious member award? Because what you do for God, a lot will be done from that for you. Hey, what's up with Azzy? Now, where they offer? I feel they be who someone. Look what they can tell her now. So, congratulations. God, I I also see myself in the realms of the spirit, saying that your marriage is nice. So, your marriage will be very nice. Yes, congratulations. And you will not be going in and out of hospital. You are going to be strong and healthy. Yeah. You are here in our midst. How we've waited for moments like this. Have your way in this place, Holy Spirit. Come do as you wish. We are changed as you move in our midst. Mrs. Yankee and Mr. Preku come. In the realm of the spirit, I saw you bringing buses of souls. Amen. Pastor Mike, I told you there's a rising army. Amen. Pastor Preku, there's a rising army. Amen. Pastor Brian, there's a rising army. Amen. Pastor Dilly, there's a rising army. Amen. There's a rising army. Buses. How many buses have you thought of bringing before? foundation that to donate for buses as you were standing there wow wow 
The Lord said that they will bring buses. Yeah. The world is raising slave queens. We are raising queens that will win souls for the Lord. A rising army. A man so in the once more. Never did Peja army be. You must be part of the army. I go with feeling inside. I was saying, everyone. You know, I'm sure what should make feeling inside. But you are here. God bless you. But shame my serious soul say, hey, so for the interim penance moment, so me pass the water. Everyone is your testimony. How? I stood by the roadside to call people in. When I met him, I was like, hello, can we go to church? He was like, yes, let's go. Oh. I thought he was joking. Can you imagine I'm prophesying to her and I just go to him? You don't, you don't understand prophetism. That's why you are just, you are not shouting for the Lord and screaming. You must understand linkage in prophecy. In the, in the prophetic, you have, you have prophetic linkage. I know, I know that Lady Pastor Peru will understand what I'm talking about. If nobody understands, I know that LP Veru will understand them. the matter of LP Mina. No, isn't it surprising that I'm ministering with her, ministering to her, all of a sudden I turn and come here and I pick a soul she brought. Also to whom whom near And I'm prophesying about souls. And this is a soul she met and the soul followed. I'm talking about souls be following you with ease. Yeah. Willingly. Aaron, you are welcome. We are happy you are here. We midwife Penipa name by two no. Do I lucky? Yes. And um, my master. Hallelujah. Buses. And I saw that you were you, you were even talking with the bus drivers. And it's not that they were your buses, oh Abregu. They were your buses. Not that. Uh, yeah, but come at this time. Come go and pick the people here. The souls have gathered themselves here. Well, and they were buses you bought with your own money. And I chose to no. You think I'm talking to only them? That's why you are just not, you are just looking at me right now. It shows us something that this is a blessed church. We are a blessed people. One with me, we are blessed. Come and let me bring your marriage to you. Come, Doki, come. Now watch your white. Pastor Brian, better go out. Oh, the company no more girls. Glory. Glory to Jesus. Lift up your two hands. Yeah. You see that Andy, I'll very soon I'll be announcing that she's about to marry. God bless you. Oh, can you celebrate the King of Kings? Yeah. When you are tired, let me know. I can close right now. Oh, and you know, Baba, wonderful prophecies. Talk to me. All right, she says that anytime she sees a Toyota Hayes and also um, Toyota Hayes van, van, yes, yes and also the U-turn buses. A U-turn. Yes. Do you know the U-turn? Big, yes. The big buses yes. that go to Kumasi, the VIP buses. U-turn. Continue. She, she tells God that God have you seen. God have you seen the buses? Are just the going buses. In, and she has written it in a diary that God please give me these buses for your, your work. Your problem is that you think every prophecy is about you are going to travel to America. That's your problem. Yeah. That's your problem. Matters of the heart, sir. Kingdom. This, yeah, these are matters of the heart. Kingdom. I mean, interests. Serious prophecies. Evelyn, who knows so who are here in Geneva?
Evelyn, you won't get that somebody has a kingdom mentality, kingdom mindset, kingdom agenda, and a kingdom program. And you see, these two ladies, they're going to be cutting edge ladies. Listen, when it comes to the work of God, there will be examples to other ladies. We are raising ladies who are examples, godly examples in this generation. Is delivered let's celebrate God let's celebrate God let's celebrate God oh let's celebrate God in the rest of the spirit I see a lot of four by fours packed in front of the church and I'm even seeing Mercedes Benz and I know your own is part I know that your own is part. The way God will do it, it will shock all and sundry. Let's sing that song. I have a life, sing. I have a life that I live because of the one who died for me. With his souls, come to me. I bless the gospel. Because of the one who died for me. 